Hey everybody, it's Dina Rico with The Creativity Cave and welcome to another edition of Friday Quickie Techniques and Tips. I know I've gotten away from this series, but I'm really excited to bring it back and I have a fantastic tip for you this week that I think you are going to love. So, how many times have you gone to die cut one of these intricate dies only to have it not work very well? Well, if you recall when like their butterflies first came out, we had all kinds of tips and ways to get those pieces to come out and to, you'd run it through your die cut a bunch of times. I remember this die giving me so much trouble. Then we came out with a magnetic platform. That platform was great because it would um, line up our dies nicely, but it's a really hard platform, very hard plastic. You can see no bending in that. And then we also came out with the precision plate, which you probably have if you've gotten any of these intricate dies. That worked wonderful. Most of the time it cut fantastic. We got all of those little pieces cut all the way through. Then we used our die brush and everything came out and, and all was right in the world. However, there was one part that was wrong, and that was that our cutting plastic kept bow bowing. Now this, I don't, I actually just recently threw out some of them, and I had huge lumps and bumps in those pieces of plastic. And then if you continued to use them, they would form cracks, and then those cracks would eventually break, and then it could shoot a piece of plastic out your big shot. Not good. We don't like that, especially if you're a demonstrator and you have customers at your house. You don't want pieces of plastic shooting out and hurting people. So I recently came across a tip from a fellow demonstrator who suggested a different way of layering your platforms. So let me give you a couple of tips on this. Now, first of all, I think a big part of the success of this is that we're using the new platform this Big Shot platform replaced the one with the tabs a, a few years back. So this was the original Big Shot platform. It probably is still available around places. Stampin' Up! doesn't carry it anymore, but many of your Big Shots may have come with this one originally. And you can see I've used this quite a bit. But this new platform is developed a little bit differently. It's got a little, you can see and feel, there's a little extra thickness in here for whatever reason. And then it's got this thin die adapter in it. And what that does is it makes, it's like the tabs on the old one. It, it allows you to die cut different types of things. Okay. And then, so normally what we would do is we would put our pieces of cutting plastic down, run our... So put one piece of plastic, um, our cardstock, a die, and another piece of plastic and run it through. And that worked pretty well. I found that even on the intricate dies, the pieces would fall out pretty well and I'd be in good shape. However, I still would get bowing. And you can see this is this is a, a um, one that we actually were just using last week and there's bowing in it. Um, it's not horrible, but there is some bowing. I don't know if you can... Can you catch, catch that right there? So here's what you want to do instead of that. You want to take a brand new piece of plastic. Oh, look at that. You can see through it like glass. It's kind of a stamping miracle, really. And you want to take and leave this on your, on your new platform like so. Just always have this clear, gorgeous, lovely piece facing your platform, okay? Then I've got a die here and I'm gonna make a really pretty card. So I'm gonna fold my card stock in half and I want to die cut this die. Now this is from the um, Eastern Beauty, I think it's the Eastern Medallion Framelits. Now instead of putting my cutting side down as I have in the past and then that cuts into this piece of plastic and then eventually you know it looks like this where there's all these cut lines I'm going to put it cutting side up okay and on in this particular case I want this to be on my card in a certain way or in a certain place so in order to do that I'm simply going to take a piece of washi tape 
You can also use a post-it note, but I like washi tape because I can kind of reuse it over and over. That's got it stuck in the place I want it. Okay, now I'm going to put a piece of cutting plastic over the top and then run it through my Big Shot. Now here's what happens when I do it this way. First of all, I'm cutting into this, only this little piece, this thin strip of cutting plastic instead of pushing it into this very rigid platform, okay? Whether it's the um, magnetic platform or the precision-based plate, okay? Now, you can kind of see that it has cut through that cardstock just fine. I can still use my dye brush to get all the little pieces out. Let me grab mine. Okay. And I'm gonna flip this over run my dye brush over it so I get all my pieces out and then I'll pull this off carefully removing my washi tape oh look look how all the pieces have come out how nice all right and then there is my card all right so what has happened is I have cut into that thin piece of plastic I'm just going to grab my platform uh oh what did I do with it like literally, it was just here. <laughs> I wonder how I do this sometimes. Oh, it's under my big shot. Okay, so <laughs> instead of cutting into a rigid plate or a rigid precision base plate that's metal, and you know this thing does not bend at all. It's very rigid. I'm cutting into this bendy piece. So the, the tension is going to go into this one piece. Everything else is going to stay flat, okay? And when you use this over and over, as you can well see, this has been quite well loved, it sits very flat. There's not, I mean, there's just a teeny bit of give, okay? There's not a ton of bending in this plate. It's really nice and flat, not anything like this. Do you see the difference? This plate has a lot of curve to it, whereas this plate is really flat. Now, I know there's videos out there showing you how you can bake your plates, but on these newer plates, you can't actually do that. The ones with the beveled ends, they're, I think they're sort of a different type of plastic. They're a little bit less rigid. And so if you bake these, you're gonna just melt them. So don't bother with that. Invest in a new set of plates. Keep this one clean and put your dies cutting side up. You will be amazed with the results, okay? Let me show you the finished card here that I have. And all of these were done, look at how fun that is. All of these die cut pieces were done with the, with the piece facing up, the cutting side up. So it's cutting into one plate and leaving this plate nice and clean. And that has made a huge difference. The, the concentrated pressure is focused on that bendable die or a bendable plate. So it really makes a huge difference in your die cutting and your plates. I was going through, as a demonstrator who does a lot of online classes, I was going through tons of these plates. I bought, I would buy them like 10 packs at a time. So that's 20 plates. And we would go through them. It was crazy because of all the die cutting we are doing. But when I started doing this, I can't even believe how wonderful my plates are. They don't bend at all. So I hope you've loved this tip. Please click on the link in the description of my video right here and you can check out all the details of this beautiful card on my blog. It's really easy to make as well as links to my online store in case you want to purchase any of these and I know you're going to want to buy yourself some new plates. So chuck that precision based plate, chuck that magnetic plate and use this system. All you need is a little washi tape and you will be thrilled. Thank you so much, guys. Come on back next week because I already have my next week's video planned. We'll see you soon. Thank you so much for your support. Love you all. Mwah, mwah. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys.